Hello, this is Clayton with Aeromotive Research and Development Group. Today we're going to be sharing with you about the diamond-like additive uh, with aerospace synthetic oil presentation and the positive effects that it has on metal to metal and especially within the uh, combustion and uh, racing engine application. DLA has universal applications. They include the racing industry, um, common passenger car, automotive, uh, diesel engines, can be using commercial trucking, off-road commercial, engines, gears, transmissions, or axles. If you have steel, DLA will work with it. DLA versus Molly, Teflon, or ceramic. You see, diamond-like additives have successfully been used for over 10 plus years. Diamond-like additives specifically are designed to work with carbon and steel and many other types of metal alloys reducing friction, increasing component durability, and improving all o overall efficiency. See, DLA in science, diamond-like additives, is part of the carbonate diamond family. With heat, friction, and time, the DLA works into the micron metal pores of the steel, also providing cooler surface operational temperatures. It suspends in the motor oil, which continually renews upon the metal surfaces. As compared to Molly, uh, or Molly Bidenum, MOS2, DLA has greater temperature stability with longer term durability. If you use Teflon, it holds heat, breaks off easily, evenly, and when it gets to uh, 350 degrees, it's a carcinogenic, cancer causing. Ceramic doesn't embed into steel of the aluminum, and there's continued problems with that. That is a coating that has to be impinged in uh, commercially with industrial, and uh, it's harder than steel, the metal steel surface, and breaks off. One of the areas we'll always look at is coefficient of friction. When the diamond-like additives, now what's PAO? PAO is your, what we call your, your group 4 oils, your poly and pure synthetics, okay? When you have the diamond-like additives with a qualified PAO working together inside of the oil, it will greatly lower the coefficient of friction within the oil. We're going to see this later on where the, the friction points are going to operate cooler, which will then uh, increase horsepower and a tremendously amount of torque but it will lower the water and oil temperatures because the friction has been reduced. Here we see it over a period of time with heat and cold that it comes into at about uh, 0.1414. Another area we always say well other than lowering friction it's the durability uh, in anti-wear test. Here we've got a Felix uh, 400 pound um, test and what you're going to see here is the diamond-like additives, all right, with the PAO, provides 58 more per percent protection than standard Molly products. Here you got the DLA with the PAO at 0.31 percent, and Molly as much as um, 0.35 percent. So as we're sharing here, it's about 50 percent more now. The key here is if you don't have any and you're just uh, you're just running on zinc and regular motor oil, you know it can be up to a difference of 75 to almost 100 percent improvement by using diamond-like additives. An important area is combustion deposit cleanliness. See, this is very important for modern vehicles. You see, diamond-like additives, other than being used in a racing application, is very very good for everyday common commercial uses or common automotive uses. Combustion cleanliness is important for long-term high or even lower constant RPM, but especially high RPM needs. You see, if the racing or high-performance additive is not balanced or formulated correctly, especially when ZDDP or zinc is over-treated within the motor oil, it creates piston hotspots, it gets into the spark, and creates contamination and then detonation, which you don't want. See, the DLAPAO nanotechnology provides clean combustion operations. Uh, and it does not affect cleanliness requirements for what we call low ash and low sulfur needs. Now here, here's a really good test. Here is an ASTM test uh, for combustion chamber cleanliness uh, for additives. And what they did is, is way over on the right is a base oil, 520 base oil with like no additives at all. All right. And then we had DLA with the PAO in it. And then we got Molly over on the other side. Now, what you're going to see is that, you know, what they did is, is they ran it and then they scraped off the carbon to see how much carbon was in there. And basically, the DLA with the PAO had um, 0.30 milligrams of deposit, 
where the molybdenum had 50 milligrams of deposit, almost 45 to 50% more. And what's that mean? It's a dirtier additive, all right? And it's not as efficient. The DLA was able to operate much more efficient and cleaner, cleaner in combustion operations, which also is important on the zinc portion and cleanliness for catalytic converters and uh, needs for that for diesel trucks and automobiles, etc. Now, we had a test that was conducted. We had a race engine performance data. We had a common uh, cup motor, NASCAR cup, and it was like a 9,000 RPM at the time, 875 horsepower with a 600 mile durability test. So we had a national brand synthetic racing oil, which was a 5W30, all right, and at 1,500 parts of zinc with Molly. And then we had with the Synmax uh, synthetic racing oil, 5W30 with 1,500 parts of zinc and with a DLA additive. So it had the racing additive in the oil package. So this test here was specifically focused upon the cam and lifter performance and here's the data and pictures that goes with it. All right, This point right here is the toughest racing metal to metal punishment known. Now both products ran a 600 mile test back to back. It was a dyno simulation, same motor, and uh, they just swapped out with brand new cam and lifters that were previously broken and done. And you can see what's going to happen here. This is amazing. Now, the lifter on the left was micro fretted and pitted wear from frictional heat. Like a piston crown, it's called fire, a flash fire degradation and surface embrittlement. In other words, it gets so hot, it's like a fire on there and it degrades. And the surface is embrittled or breaks. Now, the right with the diamond like additive allowed the metal surface to operate cooler with reduced friction and greater protection. Now this here is a 50 time magnification. The left lifter again had the molly with the high zinc. The lifter on the right had the high zinc with the diamond like additive. You can see it, it was, it was just amazing at what it did. Now here's a 500 time magnification after the 600 mile test. The lifter on the left had the high zinc with the molly. The lifter on the right had the high zinc with the diamond like additive. You might say, wow, this is amazing. Yes, it is. We had people that were national champions in short track racing at like 9,000 RPM motors uh, running at a local short track that we have on a quarter mile high bank. And they were able to have, they would change cams out, but they let their lifters, uh, which cost like $500 for the set at the time, last for about I, I think it was like almost four years three to four years it was amazing they were able to exchange the price of the oil <laughs> uh, oil changes just for saving the lifters and this can happen to you too so in general uh, here's what we had we have the, the top lifter uh, you can see both products ran 600 miles the left side had the uh, high zinc with molly. The right side had high zinc with diamond-like additive. As you can see, the DLA metal surface operated cooler with greater efficiency and less friction. Uh, here was a motor. It was a uh, was called a CRA Super Late. It was basically like a, a older NASCAR Bush type engine, except it had a roller cam in it which the Bush types motor had, and they had a 390 CFM carburetor and a lower compression ratio. Anyway, the motor is very expensive, all right? And so what happened here is that you can see here on the roller lifters, everything was amazing. Here, here's the friction on the lifters in this, and this was uh, ran for over 2,000 miles and a very, very good result. Furthermore, here was the piston, all right? The rod bearings, the piston skirt, the oil passages, the slide wear, everything was like new. All right. Sure, there was a little bit of wear, but it was able to be reused again. And this is at a 9,500 RPM, 500 mo uh, horsepower motor running very, very hard. All right. This meant the piston could be used through its cycle, let's say uh, a second time. So it could be extended in, in performance. Another very important situation was the crank inspection. The rod bearings, the main journals, uh, the rod journals, and the rod ends, etc. As you can see, a Krypton crank is very, very expensive, a couple thousand bucks. And it was like new. Amazing. 
Now the other situation that we had was up here at Wagner Automotive. We had an engine. It was a Corvette LS2 racing engine. It had one year had over 1,500 miles of short track racing, 8,000 plus RPMs, about 600 horsepower. And upon the rebuild, uh, what took place with this was that, like the other engine, uh, you can see the pistons were good, the crank, the bearings, everything was in good shape. It was actually very clean inside. Now, here's another cleanliness thing that we really didn't get into. The, the, you have to have a qualified PAO type clean oil inside of it, like from a shale oil, so that you don't have to have all the uh, sulfurs and contaminants inside of the oil. When you have less metal shavings, you have less metal floating within the engine causing problems. All right? And that's what this is able to do. You can see the, this was just taken off. This was the pan, the pistons. Everything was in beautiful shape. So in general, the uh, racing product here, which was the Sid Max Racing Oil at the time with the DLA, is that all the friction areas, including the, can be used, and especially for solid lifters, hydraulic lifters, uh, roller lifters. It'll help the needle bearings and the springs, the entire valve train component. Valve stems and bushings, very important to keep that consistent. Uh, a very important area is the cylinder walls and crosshatch areas. It's able to keep consistency within that upper cylinder chamber over the life of the engine. Therefore, the piston rings and skirts and the wrist pin, especially the wrist pin, have longer life so a capability with performance repeatability so it can go to the end of the life, not wear out as fast. They are wear parts, but it's good. The other thing that's important is what's called the oil sump and, and your dry sump components. Those, are, those can be pretty expensive, almost a uh, couple thousand dollars to re rebuild an oil sump, so uh, uh, it helps with that as well. Now the products that this is made available in is a 530, 40, 50, and a 20W50. Uh, for exact pro product applications, consult Synmax Oil or your engine builder. The diamond-like additives is also used in a combination of other greases and, excuse me, uh, gear lubes. So we've got the uh, MTL M70. The, the the two big sellers is going to be the 7590 quick change lube, and for your uh, drive axles, uh, especially with the differentials and 49 inch or 75140. Very successful selling in that. So on behalf of uh, Wayne Lensing, Danny Lensing, Performance Parts Supply, the Left-Hander Chassis Group, and especially Sinmax Performance Lubricants, we want to thank you for our time today. And when you, if you desire to purchase these products, please contact us at sinmaxwell.com. Give us a call here in the Chicagoland area at 815-389-9999. If you have any technical questions, uh, send us an email at office at uh, aeromotorresearch.com. So we want to thank you, and we will see you next time.